Cats are one of the world's leading pets. They are seen to be very cute to a lot of humans and their companions. Pets, and even sometimes a bit of security when they act as alarms. Another thing that makes humans keep cats around is their ability to keep the house a rodent-free place. This ability is due to the fact that cats are carnivores, which basically means they need to eat meat to survive. It is this fact that brings us to today's topic, are feral cats hurting the global ecosystem? Now, the feral cat is a bit different from our usual domestic cat. Feral cats are fearful of humans. They actually avoid us and live in the forests, grasslands, and other wildlife areas. A domestic cat could also become feral after being abandoned and left to fend for itself. Hence, the term stray cat is also used interchangeably with feral cat. Although some of these cats survive by eating garbage and other things they can find, a lot of them survive through their carnivorous diet and predator instinct. They become prime hunters of the vulnerable animals they can overcome, such as rats, rabbits, squirrels, birds, and lizards. You might be thinking that these are just minor in terms of what they eat, but what if I told you that in America and Australia alone, Feral cats are responsible for the death of over 5 billion native animals annually. Yes, a lot of research has gone into the influence of feral cats by environmental researchers. Alone in Australia, researchers have found out that each feral cat kills over 700 native animals annually. This points to the death of about 1.3 million birds, 1.8 million reptiles, and over 3.1 million mammals per day. So, how does this affect the ecosystem? Well, with the large numbers being mentioned, researchers went further to look into the type of animals being killed by these cats. They found that among the reptile victims of the feral cats, they were about 258 different kinds of Australian reptiles, and this included 11 threatened species, such as the Christmas Island forest skink, the pygmy copperhead snake, and some endangered turtle species. On a general scale, feral cats have been found to prey on 16 threatened native species of animals in Europe. The threat of cats to other animals is widely known. Cats are known to have contributed to the extinction of 63 species of birds, mammals, and reptiles in the wild, and they are also among the invasive mammalian predators. These animals are among a group currently endangering about 596 species at risk of extinction. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has since listed cats as one of the world's worst non-native invasive species. What puts them among the top members of the list is their carnivorous nature, coupled with their increasing number worldwide. This meat-eating habit also contributes to a very large amount of carbon dioxide emissions yearly. They owe this carbon emission to their meaty diet, their waste emissions, and their energy expenditure. The emissions on their own have several effects on the climate and the environment as a whole. You can look at it this way. What cats and dogs devour each year produces the exact amount of carbon dioxide emission as about 13 million cars driven throughout a year. Yes, the feral cat is hurting the global ecosystem, but our domestic cats are not totally innocent in all of this. In research done, it was noted that each pet cat was responsible for killing around 75 animals per year. When you factor in the number of cat owners globally and the number of cats they own, you realize that a large amount of death is being produced yearly. Due to this, cats in urban areas kill many more animals per square kilometer each year than cats in the bush. These killings of different species of different animals in the world, all at the hands of one animal, are really massive, and they would have quite a significant effect on the ecosystem. We could look at these little creatures, pet them, and love them but they have had a hand in quite a lot in our ecosystem. Presently, many people are trying to come up with different ways to reduce their negative effects on other animals and the ecosystem in general. Their numbers, however, are still on the rise. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe for more content in the future.